all right guys you're welcome to our youtube channel today we are going to talk about how we can create a mobile app using api and um i'd like to use this opportunity to teach you guys more and more on how to build your app using this app here you can see it here okay so uh, and another one is you know this our channel it's all about how to create mobile app and also how to make money online just to tell you how to make money online because anything that we do here that does not contribute to making money online is just as nothing as rubbish so what we do here worked 100 percent if you check some of our comments you will notice that many of us here have started making results from what we are teaching here online okay so try to make sure you watch all of these videos if today is the first time of visiting this channel just do it to hit on this subscription button and um so that anytime i publish video you're going to be the first person to receive it okay so and here we talk on how to create mobile app we talk on how to use the ad mob and make money we also talk on ad Stera. everybody should know about ad Stera. if you don't know about it you can watch some of these videos here and you can see it here 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 okay so and uh, another one is as we move we we'll also um, cover you guys with data, free data. You can see if you, if you haven't watched this video, just try to watch it. Uh, this is MTM Free Data 2022. It's going to teach you on how you can get free data so that you can be following us and watching our videos here all the time. So um, today, as we said before, we're going to talk on how you can make um, app with the app yet and also how to integrate your AdMob ADS. On it so that you can make money through it so um we, without wasting much of our time we just need to go to um app yet yeah, app yet. okay so and um this is their website this is their website the app yet you can see it here so what you need to do is just to open it in a new tab need to continue all right this is their uh, their website you can see it here you can create the stunning android app free and no coding required 100 purity code and you can see over 2 million apps have been created and uh are using this particular platform and uh, this platform is trusted by about one, over 1. 1.5 million uh app builders okay so they are, they are very reliable so what you just need to do is to sign in uh, or you just click on create app here here you just need to to enter your uh, username and your password I just need to Okay. I just need to put your password. Okay. Then you click on sign in. All right. So here we are going to create new Android application. Okay. So um, this interface right away is where you're going to put the app. Uh, application name and um, here is the package name the template navigation mode so i'm going to be explaining this step-by-step -step guide on how you can create this app the first step is um filling the app information which is the app name what are we going to name this app let's just name it um niger pride Niger Pride app, right? Then here you're going to uh, this package name will appear automatically. So you just need to uh, forget about this uh, package name and just and go to the template. 
um, they are going to generate the package name for you. So what you need to do is just to click on this template. It's already in black, uh, black mode, blank mode. This is even black mode uh, template. Then here is the demo template. Make him stay. Okay, I just want to add the apps that I created. Okay, right away we're going to hit on this uh, blank um, template. Okay, then the navigation mode. Uh, we we just need to make a uh, home tab launcher. If you just want to make it uh, this way, make let me make it to appear like this. You can see here. Aha! Uh -huh. Then you can just um, select this. But here now we're going to use this home tab. Okay. Then now we're going to hit create app. Now. Um, here now this is the next step which is here we are at the general here uh, this is the app name and uh, the version is 1.0 the version code you can see it 2 here you can change the icon the application icon okay so but we just need to uh, uh, to leave it like this now and uh, here is the navigation icon we also need to change this okay and um, also, okay, right. Let, let me let me ch change this icon first. Just need to click on choose file. Okay. Just need to okay. Maybe we we'll just look for one or two pictures here and uh, include it there. Okay, we can have something like that. Here. Let's see if they... uh -huh. oh, 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 here's the header image. You can just oh, change it. Then content rating. You can see this. You can just click on uh, everyone, low maturity, medium maturity, high maturity. You just say everyone because you're making the application for everyone. So this will help them to generate the uh, privacy policy for you. So what you just need to do now is to save the changes. Um, now uh, the changes have been saved successfully. So um, the next thing that we we'll need to talk on is the modules. We've talked about the general and time system around the modules. Click on the modules. Then here are the modules, and uh, you're going to choose what's going to be there. So uh, we need to choose wisely. Okay, we need to choose wisely. Mm -hmm. This is the settings. If you need to add new modules, you can just choose here or okay let's click on details mm -hmm. icon picker uh if you don't want to do this you can just disable it here if you don't need it okay so we just need to go back to the mode loose uh, any of these that you don't want to uh for them to appear then you can just click on details and then remove it okay so here we are we have this then if you want to add another one okay let's just use um search for feed keywords or you are well uh local video uh local audio and this if you want uh this to have a local audio you can just click on local audio here and um just put uh, a name for it 
Okay, let's just type local audio. Okay. Uh, menu order. Let's just send. Say one. And then save. You can see it here. It's now enabled. You put it here. So you save. You save. Then um, back to modules. Now we are done with modules. The next step is settings. Settings. Appeared settings. Let's go straight to the settings. And then um, here are the navigation modes. You need to, whether it's home tab, which all these things are things that we checked before. You just need to allow it like this. Then this is splash screen. You need to turn this splash screen on. Okay. And, um, you change this uh, splash image, change, just change it. Just need to change it. Choose file. And uh, um, what are we going to use here? Well, let's just take one of these and. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, let's use this. All right. Uh, dark mode, light mode, set default time for new installation. Okay. Uh, okay. Just need to uh, check all this. Um, okay. Just need to check this and then come to down 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 here and also uh, these are the supported uh, languages you just make sure you click in, uh, check this English and uh, English is already here okay so what you need to do just to save the changes okay now the next step is teams how to use the teams on app yet Here are the teams. You can see the dark team and the light team. Okay. Uh, if you just want to disable any of these, you can just click it and uh, it will be disabled automatically. And uh, here it is. They are all uh, disabled. Okay. Just need to click on it and um, it will be checked, like enabled. Okay. So uh, the next one is the Firebase. We just need to um, bypass this firebase, okay? Just need to bypass this firebase, uh, okay? Uh, let's go to monetize. This is the main point of this video, okay? This is the main place that we just need to talk about, okay? Uh, because uh, in our previous video, somebody asked a question and how you can make money using this um, app yet, okay? So now this is what I'm going to teach you now. I'm going to teach you how you can make money using app yet and this is this section okay what you just need to do is just to, to click uh please select and make sure you select um google admob if you are using google admob you can just um select admob if you're using facebook audience network you can just use this and if you don't want uh, to use this uh particular place just click on remove art okay to just remove automatically so right away we're going to make use of google admob okay now you are uh, this uh, you can see so now we need to log into our ad mob uh, dashboard to get a valid ad unit okay but in this tutorial we're going to make use of uh, this uh, uh okay uh just you need just need to create a new tab like this and uh you just go straight to tests yes hey you can see this just need to click on it
okay you can see these are add format and add in it okay here in we're going to make use of the banner if you check here you're going to see add more banner adding it here then if you want to use interstitial you can just uh, show this here and it's going to give you the uh, option for that okay now you just need to collect so to copy this copy it yeah, just got this place and then make sure you paste it or uh, this uh, add more banner add unit id okay just paste it there and then you go back for add more interstitial add unit you just make sure you this is the interstitial add unit here okay just copy it make sure you copy everything go back there paste it interstitial okay then interstitial add frequency like the minutes of interval for uh, interstitial ads is displayed. Okay, you just 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 leave it like this. Or I just say uh, after five minutes, uh, I just say three minutes. But well, I suggest if you are using your real ad mob ad unit, just make use of thirty. Thirty is okay for you to be free from getting add unit you just need to uh, uh put this um, this uh, frequency to 30 minutes okay right and um mm, all you just need to do now is to look for our admob app id okay this is how it look like so we are going to copy this and paste it here so that it can allow us to save, right? Then you save it. It has been successfully saved. Now we need to build our app. All right, you can see it here. Um, this is it. This is the next the next step and the final step. All we just need to do now is to uh, download the APK. So you can see it. Everything is now successfully done. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's click on this back to my apps. Now, this is the app that we just created the app so we just need to click on these details right then we we'll go to build okay All right then you hit on this submit to build okay so we just need to wait you can see this build uh, status is pending so we just need to um wait for it to to uh you know build okay so we just need to be refreshing refreshing if i use your mobile phone you can just refresh okay all right uh, you can see it's not so successful you just need to be refreshing once you refresh about two to three times it will build like this now and if you notice before this this particular one here this particular one here wasn't here you understand so after uh, this build status um, appeared to be successful then this particular download apk within 24 hours will appear also so we just need to click on download apk here and um, it's going to download now the upper one is the app bundle like if you want to publish to submit it to to play store you can just uh, download this first one so but if you just want to download the apk and then install it and install it on your phone so that you can just use it to you know check if the stuff worked very well then if you really want to post it or submit it to google play store this is the one that you're going to use the app on so you just need to click on download apk and you can see 
uh, the app uh, is not downloading just need to wait for it to download all right the app we just need to open it and then see our work so far mm -hmm. uh, this LD player is what we use to uh, launch app on desktop uh, you can use this this is just an android emulator and you can use it to text your app using your laptop so but uh the the program is a little bit slow but it's going to do the work okay so we just need to be to have that patience and um, wait for it okay okay you can see the app is loading okay this is it you can see the app here this is the app interface you see it it's it's very good you can see it and this is that uh local audio that we we'll, we'll added here then this is it and when you click on it um you see the, it are going to show you allow that the app to access photos media and file on your device so you can just need to allow it so you can play uh music or videos from your local file like the one that you have with in, in your phone so that is the local audio so you can see no item available right now okay so you can just click here if you want to navigate, uh, navigate back um, please 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 you can see this is not that fast because we are using android emulator okay so um that is just it you can just see this is letters on red uh, podcast liked all these kind of things so um let's check this like um sorry latest no item okay so you just need to add more item okay uh here is the explorer so here now you can add or remove even this history this is video and um, audio all these things wasn't there okay uh yeah all these ones okay then you can just go back there and you see them here you see all these things are up here then you can see uh, if you really want to hide this latest you can just use this explorer and uh, hide all of them okay or you can use this plus button at the upper side of the stuff okay all right uh i would like to teach you how you can add uh stuff here is very simple and easy okay so we just need to go back there and um go to modules uh, right then uh see Just locate any of those stuff there, and uh, okay, this is local audio. Um, this downloads team settings. Hmm? Then we just need to put like let's just say we use add YouTube. Hmm? Okay. Uh. Here we just need to put the name of the YouTube channel. Let's say Niger Pride. Mm -hmm. Then here, uh, menu order. You can just say um, one. Just put one. It's gonna be uh, the first. Then build feed by 
feed by YouTube user ID, YouTube channel ID, YouTube playlist ID. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you how you can get this uh, YouTube user ID. Mm -hmm. uh, you can just watch uh, our previous video about this app yet. Just scroll down, you're going to see it there how to get your YouTube user ID. Okay, 